Welcome to a brand new series on this YouTube channel. This is going to be just possibly a weekly series, a comic book pickup series. So every week on Wednesdays, comic book shops across the country release all new comic books from all different genres, publishers, artists. And this is the day whenever you can go in and snatch up maybe some big first appearances or some cameos or major deaths or just anything that could strike you as interesting in comic books. Or you just pick up a brand new series of Spider-Man that you think could be a fun read and you just start collecting a series and reading it as it goes out. So I actually stopped by three places today in Indianapolis to pick up my weekly comic books. And I've been doing this now for a few months. Uh, I collected comics when I was a child and I took off probably 20 years of collecting. Like I just stopped. And literally just back in 2019, I bought some comic book mystery boxes and I caught the comic book bug again. And then I went, found my old collection back when I was a child and kind of rekindled my love for comic books and the action hero, the superhero genre. So now it just keeps going. Now I've got my weekly routine every Wednesday. I hit my comic book shops to get all the new release comics that I would like for my own collection. So the first place I went to is a place called Circle City Comics in Indianapolis. It is off of 86th and Michigan Road. What's nice about that place is on Wednesdays, new release comics are 20% off of the cover price. So that's fantastic. So I usually hit that place first for just a lot of my common covers that you can find to get them there for 20% off. And this week, it wasn't a super heavy week, but I did pick up my fair share of comics from Circle City Comics. And that's actually is a newer comic book shop. I think they opened up just last year, if I remember correctly. So here we go. So I, I'm i more of a comic book collector. I'm not really a reader. Some of the comic book stories I do read, but not all of them. Like last year, my favorite one I read was the Silver Surfer Black series. That was fabulous. And actually one right now that I'm really enjoying is the new Red Mother that has uh, only had two issue so far and it's been fantastic series and also check out farmhand they've had 13 so far fantastic series so those i'm actually collecting and reading but most of these i picked up today won't be read they're actually to collect because i like the art of them and i like what they are so here we go first one i'll tell you exactly why i bought each one so the first one i picked up at Circle city comics was the new ant-man number one i actually Bought three of them. What's nice about Circus City Comics is they actually bag and board all their comics. All of them bagged and boarded. Some shops don't do that. Some do. Circus City Comics is one of them that actually does do that. So I actually picked up three of the Ant-Man number ones. So I just wanted to make a little appearance of one of the comics from my collection I'm very, very proud of. Spider-Man number 129, the first appearance of Punisher. Very high grade copy. I'm going to get this graded eventually. Eventually. I picked up three of these, and the reason why I picked these up is because of this. It is the first cameo appearance of Vespa, the Spectre of Hornets, first cameo appearance of Thread, the Silkworm Ghoul, and the first appearance of Tusk, the Rhino, the Rhino Beetle Hulk. So with three first cameo appearances, I said, you know what? Give me three of them. Oh, I'm getting a phone call right now. We're recording a video. We don't have time for that. The next one I picked up. Spider-Verse number five. One thing, the artwork on that thing is freaking fantastic, right? Seriously, that's really cool. This has a possible first appearance of a new swarm. I don't know for sure yet, but it had a possible first appearance of, of a new swarm. So I went ahead, I picked it up. Spider-Verse right now is hot. Very popular series. The next one I picked up was actually supposed to come out last week. And it did it. It got pushed back for some reason. But it is Captain America The End. They're doing a one-shot series of pretty much everybody in Marvel. Like last week, they released Deadpool The End, Doctor Strange The End, Captain Marvel The End. And pretty much it's just like a one comic, one issue, a possible future death as like old, older superheroes, you know. Like whenever they did The End of Doctor Strange, he was probably like in his 70s or something. This does actually have a first appearance of a, it's called an M-O-D-U-K, Modoc 
Red Skull mashup character in an alternate reality. So it does actually have, it does have a first appearance. But I picked this up basically because I'm just going to buy all the ones that are the end, you know, one shot series. Next one I picked up, I actually got two covers of it. It is The Man Who Effed Up Time. Okay, so this is just the common cover of it. It is the a brand new series, just came out from Actor Aftershock Comics. And because the title of it, it has to do with a person traveling through through time who altered the past with causes the butterfly effect into the future. So cool story. So I went ahead, I picked up this, and this one is the variant. So I think this might be like a one in 10 variant or one in 25 variant, something like that. But with 20% off, this cost me $8. And then this one, you know, with 20% off, this cover I think was like, what? Five bucks or 420. So I got both of these just because it's just a brand new series starting out. So I do like to collect anything that's like a number one of a new series, just in case. So the next one I picked up actually are not anything rare. Uh, I'm actually collecting the entire series of Napoleon Dynamite. This is only the fourth issue that's come out of Napoleon Dynamite. And in each one, I buy cover A and cover B. These will never really be worth much money. They won't. But I love the movie, so I miss, I'm just buying all the covers, uh, or the cover A and cover B of each issue that they release. So this isn't really bought for any future like potential investment. I'm just buying this because I love the freaking movie, Napoleon Dynamite. Okay, next one I picked up is one called Tart. Tart number one. So it is a brand new series that just came out. This is the number one issue. It says it's circa 1950. Tart acid appears out of nowhere to track down a missing boy who she suspects is a hand is in the hands of a demon. So this actually did have a variant to it. But I was not able to find the variant, but I did get this one. I bought it because it is a number one, and it sounds like possible an interesting new book. Next one I picked up is Daredevil. This is number 17. Through Hell Part 7. So this one, it is a solicitation of a possible a new and deadly foe makes a decisive return. So what this app says, it's possible that there's a good chance that the deadly foe could be Vigil introduced in Daredevil 609 and 610. So it's possible it could be Vigil. Of course, if you actually read this, you'd find out. But uh, yeah, I just got this because of a possible new foe. Next, I bought two of these. Darth Vader number one. This is the one in 10 variant cover. Then this is just the common cover. Like, this common cover is freaking incredible. This one is a straight shot from Empire Strikes Back. One of the most famous scenes in probably all of cinema is this scene. And this one with 20% off was only like $5.60. So it's like a buck sixty over cover price. They wrote down on here, this is a number one cover C incentive, a movie variant cover. So whenever they came out with The Rise of Kylo Ren at number one, just, uh, was it, back in December 2019, that comic has shot up in value like crazy. The comic covers are going for like 35 to 40 bucks now. Variants are going for like 50, 60 and up. So I went ahead, grabbed the Darth Vader. Why not? Won't hurt anything. I actually picked up another cover at my next shop I went to, so stay tuned. We'll be seeing that in just a second. And then they actually, they had this one back out on the counter. They had Thor. This is the new Thor that is made by Donny Cates. This is the retailer incentive one in 25 variant. They had it for only 10 bucks. That's pretty much about the going rate on eBay for this is like eight to 10 bucks. And I actually didn't get this one that first came out last year. So I went ahead, I picked it up for only $10. So that's everything I got at the first place I went to. So a pretty decent stack. I think the total I paid was like 68 bucks for all those comics. You know, pretty, pretty fair price, I think. Next then, we went up to a second comic book shop that is on Keystone Avenue and like 56th Street or something like that. It's by the Walmart on Keystone. If you're from here, you know what I'm talking about. The place is called Comic Carnival on North Keystone Avenue. And also at the first place, I was actually trying to look at Lois Lane number eight. They were sold out. They said that it flew off the shelves because Lois Lane number eight that came out today it is the first full appearance of the Kiss of Death in Assassin. That book has gone crazy now. It's going for like 20 bucks on eBay, day number one. Cover price is like five bucks. 
and they were sold out. They said they had a line out the door. People, you know, reserved it all on their poll list, and pretty much they never really even hit the sales shelf. So I went to the second shop, Comic Carnival, about five miles down, down the road to see what, what I could get there. So first I picked up there, they don't bag and board all their comics there. They only bag and board the more exclusive, like variant comics. But I got this one. I don't really know much about this, but it is a TV show on Netflix, Agra Tsuko. And they had a limit of one per customer. The other st store didn't have these, so they were already sold out of them. So this Agrisuko comic book series inspired by the Netflix show, it's already selling for upwards of $15 on eBay the very first day. $15. I'm going to go ahead and bag and board this comic. Fully bagged and boarded, protected. So yeah, this thing's going for about $15 already. This copy is like pretty good shape, probably like 9.6. So I want to protect this one because that one is already is going for three times cover price the first day. Then, while well, also I was there at Comic Carnival, I saw this one. And I don't remember if I if I saw this one at the first shop or not, but this is called the After Realm number one, a brand new series. Go ahead, let me grab a bag and board for this one. So the After Realm, when I looked it up on the app, the After Realm quarterly number one. It is a 56 page released quarterly. Okay? So it says in the aftermath of Ragnarok, an elven ranger sets out into the post-apocalyptic chaos to discover the fate of the old gods. So, bagged and boarded and protected. So I just bought this one mainly just because it is a number one of a brand new series by Image Comics. And I'm actually a huge fan of Image Comics. They do a lot of really good work on a lot of cool books. So, pick that one up. Then the Comic Carnival, they actually had a restock of the Star Trek Picard number three. This cover right here is a one in 10 variant cover, a retailer incentive. This is this was actually on the trending like hotkey list for a couple weeks now. This comic blew up to about 15 to 20 bucks. I've, I saw sales as high as 20 bucks all over the board. So they actually, the gentleman who's working there said they actually got a restock in of this comic just today. They got one of these Covers back in. They're only charging 10 bucks for it. So I grabbed it up because whenever it first came out, I missed out on this cover, but I'm happy to get it on a restock. This is not a second printing of this. This is just a restock of the original print run. So I'm very excited about that. Then while I was there, they had the one comic I was looking for. It is the Star Wars Darth Vader. This is the 1 in 25 cover variant. They had it for $12. That's probably... Pretty much probably what's actually going to be sold for what it's going to be worth is probably about 12, 10, 12, 15 bucks. So I pretty much paid full price for it. But with the first comic book shop, getting the common cover, the one in 10 variant, I had to pick up the one in 25 variant at the comic carnival. And then the last one I picked up there, I picked up a second copy. I got one of these in the first one, if you remember right, but they had that comic carnival only $7. So it is the man who effed up time. And for only seven bucks for the one in ten retailers in the variant, I picked up a second copy of it. So the Comic Carnival actually did not have the, the lowest lane number eight. They were also sold out. They were gone. So that lowest lane number eight has flown off his shelves everywhere. The gentleman who was working there, I asked, and he said, uh, he said, yeah, they were gone pretty much when they opened up the doors today. People were lined up waiting for that comic. They were there waiting. So he put me onto a list that if they get a restock of them, they're going to call me to let me buy one. But he said, I can't guarantee we'll, we'll be getting a restock into that comic. But if we do, he'll call me. So place number two, I struck out on one of the comics I was trying for, Lois Lane. So there is a third place, probably like three, four miles down the road from that place, called Downtown Comics. That is by the Castle Square Mall in Indianapolis off of 86th Street. So I went there to look for the Lois Lane. They also were sold out. So that comic is going to be an excellent speculation book. So I will probably go ahead and go on eBay and pick one up if I can find one for like $15 ship. I'll probably just go ahead and just, just do it because they're selling on everywhere like crazy. If they restock, the price will plummet on it. If they, if they don't restock, that's going to be a key book with a first appearance of a new assassin that could have a lot of potential value. So, but while I was actually at Downtown Comics looking at some of the books they had up you know, high up on the wall, the more expensive books, I found a couple that I wanted to purchase. 
So I walked out with a few. First one I bought was the one I talked about earlier. It is the Rise of Kylo Ren number one. This is the one that came out, I think, back in December of last year. And this is just the common cover. And it's going for between 35 to 40 bucks now. That's the value of it. It shot up very quickly. And they had one on the wall. The condition of this thing is phenomenal. It's probably easy 9.6. And uh, 35 bucks. I said, yeah, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. So now I do have the Rise of Kylo Ren number one and number two in my collection. So I'm happy about that. They also had these two on the walls for only 10 bucks a piece. This is the, the Miles Morales Spider-Man number 13 is the first appearance of Billy Morales, which is Miles Morales's, I'm pretty sure it's his little sister. And right now she's kind of like, is being speculated that maybe a bigger role in the future in the Miles Morales kind of Spider-Man universe. They had both of these. This one is the common cover. This one's the variant. This one they had for 10 bucks. That's pretty much how much it's worth is about 10 bucks. They had this one, the variant, also for $10. This one sells for about 15 to 20 bucks. So these two combined are worth around 25 to $30. I got them for 20, so I was very happy with this pickup because I actually wanted both of these. I actually was gonna buy them eventually off of like eBay or somewhere. So I was happy to get them in person. I actually look at condition before I purchased them because I do like seeing condition before I you know spend 35 bucks on a comic, you know? So I got both of these and I was very happy about that. So that's actually everything I got today. The only thing I did not get that I wanted was the lowest lane number eight. Three spots in Indianapolis all sold out. All sold out pretty much the second the doors opened up, they were wiped out. So that's one book that I think if you if you bought it, hold on to it. Because they are they have dried up out here. There's none left. So hopefully you enjoyed this series. If you like this, I'll do some more of these. Just kind of like a weekly comic pickup series of showing you what I picked up this, this week. And then you can make your own decisions on what I picked up. Maybe you, you might want to pick it up because, you know, you think the title of this thing is kind of funny or something. Or it might be a cool number one book. The first run, the first comic in this new run, you know. So... I'll see you next time. You want to see, like I said, some more of these, like a weekly comic pickup kind of video? Let me know down below. If you don't want to see any more of these, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, I'll do what, what the audience wants to see. So I'll see you next time. Share some of my collectibles with you, some of my interests with you. Hope you enjoy it. I'm out.